Hi, welcome to our math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on logarithmic applications. And in this video, I kind of want to talk about why we use a logarithmic scale when comparing some things versus a linear scale. In a linear scale, every tick mark on the ruler is a difference of one. One, two, three, four, five, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, negative five. It's scalar. We're adding one to move up and down so adding or subtracting one to move up or down the scale. For a logarithmic scale, what we're doing is we're thinking about these numbers here being exponents on 10. 10 to the power of zero is one. 10 to the power of one is 10. 10 squared is 100, which means to move up, we multiply by 10, and to move down, we divide by 10. And so this is a logarithmic scale. Its tick marks are based on multiplication so multiplying or dividing by 10 versus adding or subtracting 1. So on a logarithmic scale, the number 10,000 is represented by, well, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's the number of zeros. On a logarithmic scale, the number 1 over 1,000 is represented by, well, this is negative for the denominator because negative exponents means dividing, but there's still three zeros, so it's negative negative. 3. What is the difference between 100 and a million on a lin linear scale? Well, on a linear scale where each tick mark is a difference of plus or minus 1, this is a difference of 999,900. We just take a million minus 100 because that's the difference on our linear scale. On a logarithmic scale where these are exponents, this is really 10 squared, this is really 10 to the 6th, and the difference on a logarithmic scale is four tick marks. 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, this right here would be a million, and it's just four tick marks away versus 999,900, which means when we get to graphing, this is a much more reasonable graph than this. All right, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.